All right, guys. New Age Tactical back with another video. Post review. New Age Tactical. So this is three pretty cool knives to do a review on. This was a unique set. Um, so we kind of like went away from that whole like three K bar or three <clears throat> Kershaw, you know. We've okay. gone strictly recommendations. Yeah, and these were all recommendations, which guys, shout out. Thank you. Start with the backlash. Yeah. Civivi. We were going to take a break from Civivi, and we keep getting requests. It was a great knife, an argumentative knife. We went for a while about whether or not this should get both stamps, yeah. but on a technicality basis, we couldn't give it the Nat stamp. We sure as gave it the EDC, but then we gave it a high recommendation as being a solid knife. During carrying this, I got no issues with this knife. It was a great weight. Pocket yeah. clip was solid. I love the flipper tab, you know, and everything about it. Even still, I mean, it could use a little bit of a cleanup, but the shine on it is still going after all the abuse. I mean, like, the main things that stand out to me, and we obviously go in depth with the review, but... It's got the like fake carbon fiber inlays, so it has a really good look to it. You said flipper tab. We like the flipper tab. It's got a nice shaped blade. Solid all-around knife. It failed. We are maybe revamping this, which we'll get to towards the end of this. Right. But I really liked it. Second knife, this is more of a novelty. Novelty item. Strictly. This is the Cricut CEO. See, I almost cut myself there just because how, like, Still. like it dainty and it looks like a little katana. You know what I mean? It has a great look to it as far as handle-wise and, like, professional-wise is what I'm going to say. Like, this can fit right in there with your lighter, your pen, and it's got, like, that silver at the bottom, black. Like, you know what I mean? It looks like a, a real fancy pen. Realistically, if you're carrying it for just the, you know, real quick slice and dice cut open a box you know cut a piece of paper it did pass everything so that was kind of a a rough one but this was a rough one in terms of how we run our grading system for all three of yeah. these as far as carrying it for the two weeks the size and weight of it i felt like i was constantly checking to see if it was still there yeah uh we said it's a slice and dicer that's as far as this blade goes. If you go to the left or to the right, even a little bit, the whole thing was bending. Yeah. Like, we we can't go past that. So it's not going to get approval aside from just enjoyment, entertainment purposes, yeah. novelty. I don't, I don't even like saying I'm a businessman, but I wear a shirt and tie to work every day and, and like, dress pants, you know? Yeah. So this right here, it's not a bad, like, f carry for me. Like, you're wearing a suit jacket, you know, it, it's not heavy. It If I was like, yo, here, like... You do a double take on what I'm being handed. Would you think like, knife? Like, I would think nail clipper, lighter, yeah, yeah, anything but knife. The only thing I really cannot stand is that tab because there's so little room here and so little room on a blade that actually when you're pushing it out, your thumb kind of touches the blade. Now, before you say anything, we have heard you guys about the new 2021 version that ha apparently has a flipper tab. Uh, that would uh, be life-changing. Might change our minds with something like that. Yeah. So if you guys want to see us do the newer style version, let us know because I, I feel like you and I don't want to do something so similar unless it's asked. You know, yeah, like We want to kind of change it up constantly. It brings us on to our last guy. Woo! Now... This one was kind of the the changer in the way we stamp stuff. All right, Sativian. Uh, which one was this? The ST one ten. ST one ten in D two tool steel. Great blade design. Great handle design. I said in the original review, I like these better because they kind of grow a patina to to your pocket and stuff. So. You can see after a couple weeks of carrying, like it's built up that like... The contours have a darkness. The color, the contour. We love this type of lock, access lock. Flipper tab is super easy to use. This just screams quality for the price. Now, 
I our biggest complaint was realistically the pocket clip. Yeah. I think that was out of the whole knife. We and this one caused about. us an argument of does it get the stamp or not because it it passed everything except for one give in the lock. And during the tip test, we argued about it, but more or less wound up giving it the full approval. Now, the reason you got me on that one was because you said is the tip test not to tip the test the tip just the tip during those it's not really about the lock it is about the tip being punched through steel well and it's also Aluminum. about the fact of the way the handle is shaped it has this like contour well like, downwards like little titty hanging out here right yeah if i hit that titty the wrong way with the hammer regardless of what type of lock it has it's just the sheer force is going to push and make it pop. It could have been user error. You know what I mean? It's hard. It's harder for us when we do knives because not all of them are flat bottom. They're not all like just. They're not all the same. Cut and dry. So when something like that happens, you're kind of like, was it me? Was it the knife? And the problem, and the reason why I think it was more me was because it didn't happen again. It didn't happen there in the batoning. It only happened that one time. I think the big thing to take away from this, out of the three, is that you have two great knives right here. This is a great knife, but I think we've made it very clear what you're getting into if you purchase this knife. Dude, it's like if you like apples or pears. You know what I mean? That it, it, Apples or bananas, whatever the f***ing kids are saying nowadays the bottom line with that one was just the being impressed that it survived that was really the impressive part i of can that. see a market for this i because of the business i'm in there is a market for this however the business i'm in doesn't change my likes needs wants style if it had a flipper like the new one does or which the new one does that would save that honestly take a lot of concern out of my hands because i'm telling you Flipping this open, like just a little slip, I'm cutting my thumb. I'm not out on this. I like it. It'll go in the collection, kind of like of uh, like you know, uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not style. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. The ones I won't really ever carry, but I I want to have. These guys here are two workhorses. You know, this one got the stamp. Brings me back to this one. We're learning every day. We've been doing this for what two years now. Two years. Yeah. Every knife we review, every comment we see, we learn a little bit from. The argument we had about this knife, where could. it eventually got the stamp, could potentially have changed a couple more reviews in the past. Meaning that one. But and others. We're not going to get into it because you know when we first started this, we were hammering knives into into and metal, bending and bending them. them sideways till they snapped. We learned. Yeah, you know. <laughs> When it, when you come up with an idea for what you want to do and you, you got you sit there and you kind of hash it out like I want to do this to the knife and this to the knife and this to the knife and you're like Shit, like this thing nothing's ever gonna make you through it we realized and we we adapted we've grown we've grown we've taken everyone's advice from like I guess this point on is what I'm saying is I think we're gonna be a little more lenient with the stamp a little bit if, more if it more. if it fits a lot of, of the parameters the Sativian was really clutch like it was awesome All and it turns out that someone did request the 110 we just got the names mixed up so thank you to you sir <laughs> the funny part is when we went into this what did we what did we know Kershaw Spyderco Cold Steel Buck maybe you know what I mean well Buck is like yeah duh but th these these throwouts like Civivi Ga uh, Gonzo, 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 uh, <laughs> Stivian. I mean, these are all solid companies, man. That yeah. I want to go up. I literally want to go up and buy like everyone that they offer. Everyone, you know, that they and offer. the one hundred and two is going to be coming. Yeah. from Stivian. And guys, the comments are actually like loving it, loving, it. <laughs> love. It. They're phenomenal. I'm reading them and I'm smiling, like because I'm like, yo, this guy gets it. This guy gets it. <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> I don't even watch our own videos because I don't like the way I sound. <laughs> so, you know, when people comment, I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I, I, sound, I sounded good in that one. 
you guys see things pop up, knives, flashlights, tactical, anything like that, throw it down in the comments. Shoot us an email, newagetactical at gmail. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Hit that bell. Other than that, guys, New Age Tactical. Over and out. Oh, P.S., by the way, we have links to everything we went over down in the description. Yep. Yeah.